Hello, Virgos. Hello to all of the Virgos out there. Welcome back to Visions of Light and Love. This is your reading for the month of December. This reading is for my Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of December. In December already. Uh, this year has went past, has like really flown by. All right, let's pull your overall energy for Spirit. Can I have the overall energy for my Virgos out there? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of December. Can I have the energy for my Virgos? Sun, okay. So we have negative, anger, bondage, and greed. Could be you, could be your partner, someone in your environment. Could be past energy. Apply the energy to your story as it fits. Don't make it fit if it don't. This may not be your reading for this week. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. <clears throat> If this is your first time stopping by, you are welcome to stay. If the reading resonates with your situation, I ask that you subscribe, hit that notification bell as well. So we have in the reverse, using skills, creative power, and personal efforts in the reverse. Okay, spirit, I mean, okay. All right. These cards fall on the floor, but I will take the one that is on the table. That was left on the table. Uh, I don't see any more cards down there. So we have success, job, and work. So you have negativity, anger, bondage, and greed. Starting out with, I feel like some of you or someone in your environment. I feel like some of you aren't utilizing your skills to the fullest. And that's what's causing you to feel like you're in bondage. Making you feel like you're being greedy because you're not using your skills. All the skills that you have to the fullest. And it could be um, delaying some work or finances to come in because you're not utilizing all of your skills that, all of the skills that you can be utilizing at this time. Um, let's see what this is pertaining to. Could be just finances or this could be a relationship as well. Like you're not, you may have gotten comfortable in a relationship if this is pertaining to love. And um, it's causing you to feel like you or your partner feel, to feel like maybe you're not getting all of what you can be getting from your person. This could be pertaining to your home bills but we'll find out let's see <clears throat> spirit what is that energy for my virgos sun moon rising and venus what is the energy for the sign of virgo sun moon rising okay so we have the nine of swords starting out with the nine of swords why is that nine of swords here like some of you are conflicted about money okay this card came out first yeah five of pentacles yep the nine of cups something is going on with your finances or this could be past energy energy for my Virgo, sun moon rising and venus 
Yep. And a reverse. We have the Knight of Pentacles in a reverse. It's your energy. The Knight of Swords in a reverse. It's like something came to a halt. Why's the Knight? Okay, your cards are really, really, really coming out. Five of Cups. Five of Cups. You have the Strength card, Leo Energy. Leo is here. Could be dealing with a Leo. The Two of Pentacles. I feel like something is going on with your finances. Why is the Two of Pentacles here for my Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of December. Okay, that's... I'll take them. So we have... The two of wands. You have two twos back to back. You have the king of cups with the hermit card. That's your energy, Virgo energy. At the bottom of the deck, you have the double Capricorn energy. Some of you could be involved with the Capricorn or have Capricorn in your chart. But I feel like someone was overindulging in something, um, manipulating a situation. That was the negative um aspect of this situation um if not that um well manipulating a situation having addictions to things and it caused some type of um anxiety left someone up, up at night could have been a loss of money something pertaining to the loss of money, a uh, temporary hardship, or someone could have possibly walked away from someone or something that was a wish fulfillment with the Nine of Cups. And right now, I feel like things could be financial or love. Things are just moving slowly. Something or someone is taking their time. Things are coming in slowly. People are coming in slowly. And this is causing you to feel disappointed. Stuck and not moving. And the only thing that you can focus on is what's not happening at this time. But you're not making them happen either. Because he's just sitting here like wallowing in his misery. So this is going to require you to have strength and courage. To balance things back out. But I feel like at this time you're in your emotions. So it's causing some type of blockage. And causing you not to be able to move forward. Because you have a choice to make. You have something to decide on. A path to choose. And I feel like you're just standing there looking at the situation. But you're not moving. With this King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy is here. I feel like this is going to require you to um, go with love with this King of Cups. And you're you're going to have to go within, withdraw from the situation and go within in order to get clarity and the answers that you need to pertain into the situation. Whether this is a relationship or if this is pertaining to your finances. Because this reading could go either way. I feel like this is going to require you to walk away from something or someone in order for you to balance things out the way that you want it. It's going to require some healing, but it will allow you to move forward. It might be a slow process, but you'll be able to move forward and then you will learn your worth and learn that you don't have to settle for what you are getting but the decision is in your hands you have a decision to make you could be seeking advice from other people but i feel like the people that the answer that you are looking for can only come from within because if you keep seeking advice from other people you're going to continue to be stagnant and confused and you want to um, 
you want this new successful beginning. Why is the Nine of Swords here for my Virgos? Why is the Nine of Swords here for this Nine of Virgo? This situation could have you up at night thinking about it. And I'm just seeing pinnacles. I feel like this is pertaining to your finances or something. Something that has to do with money. Um, yeah, it's leaving you. You could be dealing with the Pisces, with the hangman. But this is leaving you feeling like you're stuck and can't move forward. I don't know why my nose is running. The five of pentacles. Why is this five of pentacles here for the sign of Virgo? Okay. Yeah, look at this. You feel stuck in prison, in your own prison. It's like the same thing is coming out. And you, you want to wish fulfillment. You want things to come in quickly, but they're not. Things are at a, it's like at a standstill. Why is the uh, Knight of Pentacles here for my Virgos? It's like things, things are at a standstill at this time. Yeah, look at this. No Ace of Swords in a reverse. The Judgment. These are both cards of a new beginning or of a new start, a renewal of something, and they're in a the reverse. So things are stagnant right now. Look, the, the Eight of um, Pentacles. Things are not moving as quickly. The Ace of Pentacles in a reverse. Same thing. You're not listening to your intuition. Cancer Pisces energy. You're, you're not making a decision. Two of Wands in reverse. You need to make a decision and you're not making it. Because you keep going to other people asking for their advice. When you, the universe is saying to go within yourself to seek the answers from within yourself. And then the will will turn in your favor. The will will turn in your favor. And look what's at the bottom of the deck. The two of cups. You will see eye to eye. You will reconnect with yourself. You will have the answers that you need. There will be reciprocity, balance. But you have to stop going to other people to seek the answers that only can come from within yourself. Look at this. Uniting. Coming together. The answers are within you. Not outside of you. These people... Then, look, relationship, beginning of a new romance. All of this is what's, what's um, in your future if you stop seeking advice from other people, listen to your own intuition, and um, listen to it and take action. So, Virgos, this is your reading for the month of December. Um, comment below. Let me know if this is your story. Share with your family and friends. Like. Subscribe if you haven't or if you just want to support the channel. Hit the notification bell. Be safe. I'm sending you love, light, peace, and healing energy. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of this week and I will see you next time. Bye.